Hello, and welcome back to Hello Games in Tectonica. We built the uh, Shiverthorn farm last time, and it is going along smoothingly. Uh, we're having a little bit of a power issue, but we did unlock water wheels, and we haven't really built any. So, that's the first thing we probably need to do. I kind of ignored it while I was building the farm because I just wanted to finish. And we're going to have to add them to the toolbar. So we just hold Y, use the D-pad, move around, figure out what we want to take out. Let's uh, let's clear that with X, B to go back up, and sort this area did we finish building our first water wheel doesn't look like it let's sort again maybe we did i don't see it that's a generator do i need to go away and come back no where is the water wheel? I'm going to back out and go back in. Drill, furnace, thrasher, assembler, generator, accumulator, voltage. I thought it would be right there in that area, but it's not. And it turns out I didn't build water wheels, I built generators. That was just. Let's clear the queue. I'm going to build 10 water wheels. And I know we're automating everything, but we need power to automate everything. So. Let's get that water wheel on the toolbar. And there's the first one built. We just. Oh, we got it on the toolbar right there. So let's go over here and see what we can do to get this going. All right, so back in the beginning, I believe. This was a place for a water wheel. Yep, it sure was. And we're going to put a water wheel here. Look at that. And we're going to put one here. And we're going to put a crank generator right here. Just turn it and get it facing. Here we go. We gotta get this in the hole. And the ones that are already built have guards inside, so I put this one in backwards. And I know I didn't. Yeah, there we go. And with that. We should have lots more electricity. I think that is good. Now these aren't moving yet. But that's okay. Let's come down here and inspect. Five water wheels. Seven power converters. Let's 
I don't know exactly how many crank generators while wheels can support right off the bat so I'm going to throw this down here like this and inspect it all right maximum charge 150 kilowatts four to eight you know what let's just figure it out so we just put this in here like this gotta get it to fit and then once it fits we know that one water wheel can support okay 1722 and then we go to another one 1872 it went up so it can support two can it support three 1872 to 1947 yes yes it can can it support four 1944 wasn't that what it was last time 1947 So at that, nineteen forty-four. So it's a factor of three. So you just multiply your water wheels by three, and you should know exactly how many cranks so if we have four water wheels we can have 12 power converters so I'm just going to delete this one and put in some flooring here eventually and I'm going to put another crank right here and with that we have three water wheels for nine that sounds great so this one can support three we got one extra and there's three over there so this water wheel will support those three and then we have one extra so we just need to plug up two holes and the last water wheel will support all the rest And that will maximize our electric output if we can get it to go in the hole. Did I need to rotate it? No, nope. it's a crank. It's a water wheel. Right there. And that will allow us to add two cranks. That gives us three, four, five, plus four is nine. Nine cranks for three water wheels sounds good and we're up to creating over 3000 power right yeah i like it and if we look over this way everything's charged and that takes care of the power needs now for the fuel needs well we built this plant matter here but I'm thinking plant matter burns better than um, fiber you know I could just move these and we'll put these outs over here And we'll bring it in here and we'll send out some frames to get burned for fuel just for now 
Now over here, we are making stems of some sort. Shiver thorn buds. We're making shiver thorn buds. And just like we did over here by adding three thrashers, we need to add three thrashers over here to break down the shiver thorn buds. But I don't want to do that today. Nope. Instead, we're going to look at automating some basic supplies. And my favorite basic supplies to automate in the beginning are conveyor belts and inserters. So, which to start with? Let's start with conveyor belts. So on the conveyor belt end, we're going to need an assembler. Yep, let's see. We put the assembler right here. And we're just going to go over here to see what's going on. But you know what? We need more floors to cover everything. We're always making floors too. Let's start with floors. And we look on here and the recipe for floors is iron and copper wire. What is the recipe for conveyor belts? It's mechanical components. You know what? Let's do both. Alright. So we've kind of built this little temporary area but we're going to come out this way for uh, assemblies and of course we need more floors who would have thought so let's um let's hand make some floors and I'm going to go up till it says plus 100 more in the bottom right. And I'm just like, you know, tapping the button as fast as I can. Because we do use that many floors. And that's a row of three. And a row of three will be created ever so not quickly. And that's why we want to automate everything. So, right there it says 84, 89. That's how many floors we got in parentheses. And we need 96 for this area. There we go. All right. I'm just going to do a smaller area since we haven't automated floors yet all the way. And oh, I'm thinking, yes, I'm thinking this is a smaller area. And that's what I usually build at. About that much area is what I need. And we're only at 53 created. The more we automate, the faster we can build. So that's why I want to go ahead and start automating floors and then conveyor belts, then drills and furnaces and assemblers and um Thrashers and planters, why not? But research core is more important. Yeah. And we'll try and get those research cores assembled quickly. So I'm just going to build this here. Find the assembler. We got one right there, but we're going to put this one right here. When we can get into concrete and such, we'll build buildings. And we can put these inside those buildings. That would be nice too. Alright, so we decided we were going to start with floors. And the floor says you need copper wire. Well, we're going to have to extend this 
a little. Actually, you know what? I got enough floor now. I think I can just make another double row there. And I'm going to take another assembler. You know, that's probably why I need to turn this around the other way. So, I'm just going to start right here on the edge. And I want to put this out. Oh, no. Too close. I need one space right there. I could put it in tighter. You know what? I can. Let's just not do that. Let's put it in tight. Let's build tight. So with that, we're going to put this inserter right here. And we're going to tell this one to build copper wire. And we're going to tell this one to build. And then that's not going to work. I know what to do. The tightest it can get. Is that close? Yep. And we can just put a blue long reach right there. And a yellow short reach right there. And he's still set to copper wire. And he set the floors. And I'm going to go ahead and just put these right here at the end. And drop a box right here for power floors. And we're going to need an insert right here. And with that, we need copper and iron. So we just skip over all this uh, shredding and go over here and we're like, oh look, this is the iron line. Where's the copper? Here's the iron line. And it all gets stored up here. But I want it over there. So we're just going to cut into this area. And I'm going to put in a splitter right here. And then I'm going to go up a level, twist, turn, come down here. Oh, look at that. We got a hump here already. So I'm going to go over. And I'm going to go back down. And I'm just going to come right here to where. I want it to go. And draw. Oh wait that's. Copper wire. We want it to go over here. So we want to scoot over what two. Yep. just like this and there's the iron now it wants copper so we go over here to the copper farm and the copper farm collects on that little conveyor belt underneath Oof. and it's not fully collected till it's over this way So at this point, I'm going to grab it. And come over this way. Right in front of that one. Bring it down. Switch it again. And the copper should come in here. So as copper is made, oh look at those plant frames being delivered, and everything's mad. <gasps> you mean plant frames are not 
refuelable? Well, that's just awful. We have made a mistake. And what good are plant matter frames? Hmm. We're going to take an assembler. We're going to plop it down here. And we're going to look for fuel. Do we have fuel yet? Yes, we do. It takes limestone and plant matter. Okay. I guess I should turn off the plant matter frames. So let's do that. And we're going to have to... Oh, this is going to be a pain. But... We're going to have to make sure all the inserters are sticking out, ready for some new fuel. Because they're all clogged up and that's not going to allow any new fuel to get in so this is a cleanup now and then with that I really thought plant matter frames were uh, burnable okay so he's so backed up that he's still got good stuff but I need to make sure there's no bad stuff inside the box so I just clear out a few same there same there so if there was a plant matter frame hiding in the box when you click that it'll come out of that one and we're just going to remember that we cleared that first one and we'll check it on the way out good This area seems to be backed up somewhat. At least we know they got fuel. Well, some of them. And the ore is so backed up because the furnaces have no fuel. And we might have to just double check this area later. But pretty sure we got it all we checked the first one bring new plant matter frames oh boy it's afraid of that so that plant matter frame was still on the conveyor belt while we were coming down but we won't have that problem when we go to the iron drill side because they're all cleared out now. And all the furnaces are cleared out. Here we are. Just cleaning out the section, the area. I guess I should take it off the conveyor belt first. And now we know what not to fuel with. Okay. 
and I know I did not evenly distribute the fuel but I was working off of the uh, feed so much fuel I could back it up theory did not quite happen the way I wanted it to but that's okay now we're going to send some good fuel and we're going to get an assembler and limestone's over there so I'm thinking I'm just gonna actually I wanted to put the three thrashers in this area so I might just make fuel let's just make fuel right here next to the furnaces it's a good spot or no, let's just put it over here in assembly. Yeah. And I believe it was limestone and grass, so that means that we need two lines in. And no other assemblers. And we need a box. Gotta automate making boxes too. But we don't have it automated yet. There's the box. Six. I made six, so I would have five left over. And put the box right here. Check it out. Say I want fuel. You know, I don't know why I put a box there. Come on. I want to deliver that fuel. We're going to take that fuel and we're just going to stick it right there and we're going to put this in here I don't have a limestone fuel limestone fuel plant at this moment and the limestone way over there you know what I don't have that many yep that's what it's saying it's saying I got that many okay that many conveyor belts and that's part of the reason why we're going to automate the conveyor belts see we can go over here now and we can notice that we are making floors. Yay. But as far as conveyor belts go, we haven't automated that one yet. It's on the list of everything to automate. And by everything, I mean we're going to automate everything. And I'm just, there's the limestone. You know what? Let's just. Let's put the limestone over here. Yep. I mean, we can move the limestone. And that way when I need to build a limestone drilling area. Um, we'll take it down that way because we saw some limestone down there. Yeah. But for now, we're just going to take this and move it. And I know we move really slow and we're over encumbered like this. But it's not too far. And we just push our way over here. I want to put it right there there why is it invalid it must be too close to the um, core composer yep so I'm just gonna have to scoot this over so we'll find out how far right about there okay and 
we sort out the limestone. And fill up the box. And fill up the box. It's a lot of limestone. That's why we move so slow. And fill up the box. And that's why I kind of want to get rid of it. it. Just bogs down the area. And there's the limestone. Now for the plant matter. We need more thrashers. I think I can fit them over here. All right. Needs one spot for a conveyor belt, and then four part, and four part. So I inspect this and I set it to um, silver thorn extract. And I can see that. So now I just copy that and just keep pasting. And I'm going to put the silver thorn extract on the four side. like that I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna plant this here like that and then here I see that it is um, only one item coming out so with one item I can just Plant these yellow guys here. They don't need to have a smartness to them. And I'm going to just go ahead and go down through here. And... Oh my gosh. Why is that purple? I thought I was still on yellow. 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 And just like that I can see now what we're going to produce we're going to produce dirt and silver thorn extract and it looks like three of each so we're going to we're going to switch this to dirt and dirt and on the last one, we're going to copy it. So we can just put down dirt everywhere else, just like that. And with that, I'm going to change this line up a little. That's not exactly what I was going for. I wanted it to look more like this, and then, like, split it up from there to all these different ones evenly. If it's in the middle, it kind of just splits up better that way. Anywho, all this dirt. 
needs to come up here. And get joined together. You know what? I think it'd be better... If it was done like that, and then we're going to come straight across. That's what I thought. And it's going to say you're out of conveyor belt again. Oh, I am out. Uh, something out of iron so the iron farms on this side so the irons here I'm just going to take it all oh we're so close to um, getting the fuel and that's really going to help with keeping all these furnaces running Get all that grass ready to be cooked. All right. I'm going to switch this to a horizontal one to start with. Try to get it to hit that right spot. And it looks like we want to come down just to the right of that so right here actually you know what I want to go down the other way and come back up and over hmm. back it up one come up one more back it up one I want it to go there there we go turn it and turn it and down and out and in that should start some fuel creation as the dirt goes on down there and with that we just add up a few more belts And that's the plan. Yeah, we got the fuel going down that way. And those threshers can keep up with the slow conveyor belt, that's fine. And then all the way down here, we've got plant coming in. We need 50 limestone and 25 plant matter. That means the limestone needs to be able to chuck it in faster. Let's go ahead. We've only got three of these for right now. But let's go ahead and boost that up to red. Maybe it will be able to keep up with the yellow. If it's twice as fast. I don't know about that. But it should be creating fuel so slowly that we don't even need two of those there we just need one but I'm just gonna go ahead and put down two cuz I want to and with that it's starting to create fuel <gasps> fuel and the fuel gets created It's a little mud pie and then it'll clamp down mold it into little fuel pellets and slice them up and put them in a little basket and it'll come down the conveyor belt in a little basket just like that and there's our baskets of fuel and one press makes four six six batches of fuel 
eight batches of fuel. One press makes ten batches of fuel. And fuel takes so much longer to burn. And of course it gets mixed up with the sticks, that's fine. But all this will burn. And now it's getting shipped out. And we should start seeing some results. Look at this. Fuel goes in and it burns and look how slowly it's going down and making multiple bars. That's what we're talking about. And that's fuel. Whereas sticks only last that long and burn down quickly. Yep, yep. But I'm going to go ahead and throw some stuff in here. Okay, yeah. And I want them all to get some fuel. That orange stuff does not burn. But it's highlighted. That's odd. Plus, oh, that's because we bought the technology to turn it into limestone. Yeah, that's right. We can turn that into limestone. And then ship it down the fuel line. Instead of boxing it up. And to do that, we have to have an assembler. Oh, look, there's an assembler. And there's a the limestone line. I'm thinking I'm just going to put this right here. Right, that's two away. No, it's not. Right there. Okay. I thought I had technology to turn that into limestone. Hmm. But I don't. Okay. Well, we got some floors now. But what if we wanted conveyor belts? Mechanical components and silver thorn extract and copper components. Okay, so we're going to go over here and we're going to pick up some floors. Batch of 500 will work for now. We're going to add a little extra area. All right, and we're going to look at some assemblers. We're wanting fancy conveyor belts. We're going to need a little extra room for that. So I want to put it on the back side right there. Because this one's going to need three inserts. that up somewhat I think I need more power fours this is gonna be a little bit longer of a build I'm aiming for there. And we need a 
right there. Oh, not anymore. Because this one is going to need to be the green conveyor belt. The orange conveyor belt. Now, the orange conveyor belt needs mechanical components. So, this one's going to have to be mechanical components. But this guy needs copper components. And with that, I need another assembler. I'm going to try and time it where there's no stuff on the line, which is hard to do, but I did it. Okay. Just going to plop that there. We're going to have to get rid of this. And there. Now, this line Now I don't want that to get on this line And I don't believe it has That's all the fiber Alright, we didn't make that mistake Whew. I'm just going to get rid of that. I don't want that to be there. I want it to look like that. So I can see that they're not combining. And with that, we're going to go up and over. That looks good. That looks good. And that helps. And we need copper components. Alright. So your copper components go in here. And this is copper right here. And it's coming from over here. So this is a branch off. Right? Yep, this is a branch off. This is something I can handle. And we just stick this line here and jump it out. Put in a splitter. We want to go down. And just like that, we're banking up copper components. Awesome. We need copper over here as well. And iron. So with this line, I'm going to need to go, let's go up. So we just drop here. Really? the last piece that should handle copper oh look at the copper come down yay now we need iron okay so this line is the iron branch off 
and we're going to put the iron on the right of the copper so I could branch off right there that would be sweet can I do that I think I can let's just put this there and get a horizontal bolt and bring it down and around just like that and now we have iron going yay all right so we got one making copper components now what do you need just copper components so we're just nope wrong way you know I could have twisted him eh that'll work and then he'll make uh, conveyor belts now I already know conveyor belts are needed here what does he need he needs conveyor belts copper components and shiver thorn all right so the copper components are going to be created in the first assembler so I guess I want to put this here and I'm going to come on down here and just stick it right there All right you want copper components yep yep okay so just like that you'll get copper components and conveyor belts and you need Shiverthorn. The only thing I'm not taking out of the uh, dirt mob area. So we did not. Um, I'm going to do that. And a little bit of that. Oh, I went too early. And then I'm going to head down this way. The whole kit and caboodle. can't do that gotta back it up back it up all right right up there we ran out of conveyor belts again but that's what we're trying to automate so we just need a few more of these and we're going to add them right here and we're going to see how many we really need okay so what was the plan oh yeah we were going to come over this way and head on down this way and we're going to place conveyor belts to right there and we're going to add an inserter right there and we're going to put some inserters right here not that we're ever going to need that many and with that, here comes the blue stuff, and it starts getting put in, and we're going to take a peek over here, and it says, 
10 conveyor belts, 5 copper components, 5 silver door. So that shouldn't take too long. And with that, it's making its patty cake. So there's our mud ball and a clamp of mold. And look at that. We are making conveyor belts, the good ones too. That means we can just go over here and we'll be like, hey, um, we want to just take these orange ones off. and put in the green ones yeah and here is power force and we're going to take all this and ship it down that way sometime and maybe we'll make a little just a delivery spot full of boxes mm -hmm. and we'll call it the store the trading post the mall whatever you want to call it but we have added to it and I think that's good for now if you like what you've seen uh, and you watch this far do like and subscribe and I'll see you next time thanks <laughs> bye bye